Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some fucking video games. Holy shit, it's been forever since we came out with the video. <laughs> I've been busy with work for one, and then super, super stupid cough has just, like, ruined my ability to record a video without ruining the audio super quick. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I think it's, for the most part, gone. I'm, I may throw out one cough in the middle of the video. I'll try to edit the audio to not blow out your drums, but I uh, am. Yeah. So, uh, Monster Hunter World came out over the weekend, and holy fuck, I love this game. Like, holy shit. It's, it's super good. Like, like I ain't even kidding, bro. Like, this is the best Monster Hunter game ever, which, I mean, if you're new to the series, it's not saying a whole lot, but, yeah. Um, yeah. So... Uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna get into it here. I'm playing on the PlayStation 4, if you can't tell by the button prompts on the screen. Um, that is, that is what I'm playing with. We're gonna throw up an Attack L. Here, just skip this cutscene. But, I mean, if you're watching this video, and you're like, oh man, I want more Monster Hunter footage, then yeah, I mean, of course. Who doesn't want more Monster Hunter? Um, but you know, it's whatever. Monster Hunter's pretty rad. And I like playing it. And nobody's on to play with me, so I was like, fuck it, I'll do a video, I guess. I haven't I haven't done one. Um, I'm doing a low-rank investigation. Oh, shit, I should have caught that. I haven't caught one of those guys yet. Um, an investigation's essentially just like... It's like a side quest. To be 100% honest. Um, it's just a little side quest where you fight some monsters. You kind of get to pick, um, in the other games. There's not, there's not really any equivalent, um, other than they were just the quests that you didn't need to do. But, uh, yeah. Game looks really pretty. And Rathian is totally weak against water. Which I have some water swords on right now. Ooh, now I'm gonna get stomped on its fine though. Free. I'm trying not, not to just spam the buttons right here in front of the microphone. It's totally not going to happen. The PlayStation 4 controller is absurdly loud for some reason. With the button presses. I've noticed that a couple times. Um, when I'm playing some games. It's like, oh yeah, let's just uh, let's just do some mashing here real quick. And then it's like, oh, that was a whiff. Alright, let's mount this bitch. What you want, girl? Can you... Here we go. Get me into... Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna cut that tail off. Because that's what I want. Oh, baby! I'm just gonna go ahead and carve it. She can't see me right here. She's gonna breathe fire on our kitty cat friend. Nope. Rapid spike. Oh, God! Don't, don't tramp me. Don't tread on me, bro. But yeah, I'm in. Uh, I'm in high rank technically. Uh, I just kind of got here. Um, I don't think she was gonna reel from that. Um, I just got here, so I'm not super far in the. I mean, I'm. I'm kind of far in the game, I guess technically. Um, I've got a, a rarity five weapon on right now. I'm using the dual blades. If you can't. If you don't know nothing about Monster Hunter. These are the cool ones for cool boys. Um, Oh, yeah, uh, I really like this weapon set, or these weapons in general. I've I've used dual blades in like every Monster Hunter game um, that I've played. So. These are the ones that I like. The cat partner is actually super helpful in this one too. Like, I never realized in the other games that like having 
or the, the other games that had the cat partner anyway. Never really felt like they were super, super useful. But uh, in this one, like, it seems like they're just the most useful thing. Because they constantly heal you. Like, constantly. It's It doesn't stop either. It's really nice. Um, so I've mounted the monster, which is a mechanic they added in 4. Um, and I, I just... I thought it was super fucking cool that it was in that game. And I'm really glad that it, you know, continued into Monster Hunter World. Um, but yeah. These investigations are also a super easy way to get rewards that you want from monsters. They give uh, special bonuses, um, depending on, like, how hard the quest is. Um, a lot of the times there will be, like, restrictions. Um, so for, like, the multiplayer version of it, if you wanted to do it, uh, do like one that maybe rewards 10,000 zenny or something like that, it may like restrict you to two players um, instead of four, or it might reduce the time limit or the amount of times that you can faint during the quest. Um, there's a bunch of different stuff. Oh, there's that barrel. Um, there's a bunch of different stuff that the missions can kind of throw at you to either increase the difficulty or just like kind of give you extra money essentially um which is i mean i feel i feel like this is extra money um is what this is really i don't particularly need to kill the barrel but i wanted to kill the rathian for something so um that's why we killed her and he's just kind of like a bonus the mission's also worth like eight thousand, nine thousand, any something like that. So it's it's pretty pretty big chunk of change. Um, or actually, already bought my power and armor charm. Um, thankfully, I had enough materials and money saved up. Oh, there's a Kula Yaku here also. That's cool. Um, I had a bunch of money saved up. Thankfully, whenever I got to the spot in the game where you could get the. Um, Power Charm and Armor Charm, thankfully, uh, because having to buy that stuff is super expensive. The Armor Charm is like 24,000 zenny, and then the Power Charm is like 36 or something crazy. So it's like definitely, definitely need to um, make sure you got some money when you get to that point in the game. Oh, I should not have gone... If this other monster was here, this guy wouldn't be going all over the place. And uh, I, have, uh, like I said, I have a water weapon on right now, um, which is super useful against the Baroth because anytime he uses the mud on his body, um, he essentially armors himself up, and all of that is susceptible to the water damage. Um, his main body is not really susceptible, though, which kind of sucks, so I'm not doing optimal damage whenever he doesn't have those on, but I'm able to break his armor pieces off pretty easily. So, Baroth is one of my favorite low rank monsters to fight, too. Just, oh, is he really already limping? Holy crap. Um, I, I just do ridiculous damage right now to these low rank monsters. They don't have a big enough health pool to really... Um, fuck with me but i also super like a, a bunch of the changes to this game like the, the radial wheel here um i really like it took me a little bit to get used to it though because like i would like let go of the button and then be like why didn't i use my thing but you have to let go of the stick first if you have it to the the base setting um before it'll use the item that you tried to use um Big combo here, hopefully. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna try to cut his tail off. No. Okay. Well, that was that. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, once you rank up, if you ever go back to these low rank quests to get, like, pieces of armor, for whatever reason, um, maybe you're helping out some friends or something, you're just gonna destroy this stuff. I'm also playing in a single player variant where the uh, monsters don't have a huge like health pool um essentially once you add somebody else to the to the mission or the quest increases their health by a lot so um, that's part of the reason why i clear that so easy but 
really enjoy this game. Uh, there's going to be some, uh, probably a couple other videos. Gabe's never played a Monster Hunter game before, so I might try to get him to play. Um, just to kind of see what goes on with that. But uh, yeah, guys, the videos are coming back. Um, we're going to be doing some shit, man. Monster Hunter. I've got my cute little monster chick. She's ready here to fight. You know? That's it. Oh, that was hard work.